Chapter 7, The Starving Time. Okay, look at the picture on page 26. During the starving time, there was not much for Jamestown settlers to cook. Here, an actor plays a colonist. Okay, the cartoon on page 27. The starving time was terrible. I just hope no one ate any dogs. Let's not even think about that, Max. Okay, and at the bottom of page 27, what's going on in that picture? Why do you think there's fire coming out of the top of that dome-shaped thing? What do you think that dome-shaped thing is? What's that guy doing? Okay, look at page 28. What's going on in that picture on page 28? Who's in there? Uh, what are all of those ships doing? Okay, and page 29, who is that man? He is the governor, Lord Da De La War. Helped, to, helped the colonists get organized. Okay, all right. Now you can turn this off and read on your own, or you can read with me. <coughs> the Starving Time. After John Smith left, there was no real leadership at Jamestown. The new governor still had not arrived. People did not work as hard as they should have. Things grew worse between the settlers and the American Indians. Powhatan no longer traded with the settlers. Now fear replaced friendship. Any settler who left the fort was attacked. The men were afraid to fish or hunt. They felt like prisoners in their own colony. This led to the worst months in Jamestown history, the winter of 1609 through 1610, was known as the starving time. Settlers had almost nothing to eat. They killed and ate their horses. They even ate r the rats they caught. People died of starvation and disease daily. Some used their bit of strength to dig their own graves, there had been about 500 Jamestown settlers before that winter. Only about 60 were left by the spring of 1610. Several ships carrying new settlers arrived in May 1610. The newcomers were shocked at what they found. The survivors looked like walking skeletons. Little was left of the colony as well. The remains of the settlers had taken apart most of the buildings. They used the lumber for firewood. It was all they had to keep warm during the winter. The survivors were anxious to leave Jamestown. The new arrivals wanted to leave too. They saw that there was no food. Yet, as it turned out, none of them left. The very next morning, another ship arrived with food and supplies. A man named Lord Delaware was on it. He was the colony's new governor. Like John Smith, Delaware quickly took charge. People planted crops and rebuilt houses. Nevertheless, Delaware left the colony in March 1611 because of poor health. He had not lasted a year at Jamestown. The next leader arrived in Jamestown on May 19, 1611. He was a former soldier named Sir Thomas Dale. The Virginia Company wanted Dale to find a better site for the settlement. Dale chose a spot upriver that was not as marshy as Jamestown. Today it is known as Curl's Neck. Back then it was called Henrico. American Indians were already living in that area. That did not matter to Dale. He fought the Indians and took their land. Dale saw this as Britain's right. The Indians saw things differently. This led to problems later.